since then the tithe has come up and I just release a blessing. So if you tithe in the past month or so, please come up for a blessing. And then we will proceed with today's uh, lecture. Praise God. I bless you in the name of Jesus. 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 I pronounce a blessing, get Gamalga Jesu. I bless you, 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 ge gamalga Jesu. I bless you, ge gama liga 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 Jesu. And I bless you, ge gama liga Jesu. Praise God. Praise God. I bless you in the name of Jesus. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I was sitting in my bed yesterday. The whole day, I did not leave my room at all. I think I only started talking to people physically in the afternoon. Uh, praise God. I saw a fire come up. I saw the union buildings. I saw a fire come from heaven. And then it, it came, struck the building once. Then it went down and went around the union buildings. I'm a union building. That's where the executive president and his cabinet are based. Amen. And the fire went around. Online. Amen. Uh, I woke up feeling so unwell. I don't know what was happening. I, I could feel that the message I'm about to deliver today is going to shake some prince demons in the heavenlies. Amen. So it's a, it's, it's a form of attack. And I said, you know what, Lord, help me to speak this as it is. There are certain images I didn't even want to show you. Uh, as I was sitting there, the Lord said, no, no, show them. Because some of them, it's pictures of demons. And I was like, mm, I won't show the church. I'll just explain. And the Lord said, no, that's why I couldn't like if you were attentive. And I said, the Lord says, you must project these pictures. Here they are. I sent them to him. Amen. So, to explain the state of South Africa from a spiritual perspective, as blunt as possible. Amen. Amen. A, a friend of mine who's a pastor used to say to me, why are you so controversial? Are you not scared of trending? Amen. And I said, I do want to trend. I do want to trend. That's the point. I want to trend. Isaac said, uh, where is Isaac? He had mentioned, uh, they financed the lie. To this day, the lie is still believed among the Jews because somebody took out money and financed it. Oh, I heard God as he was speaking. I know he thinks he was speaking, but God was now speaking, eh? And it comes together with today what God showed me today. Praise God. Hence, I had to pray for him and protect him from the certain prince I'm about to expose today that I know is not happy. Eh? Just to protect. Don't worry. All of you are safe. Amen. You must not worry about that at all. But one thing I said to the Lord, help me to be brave. So I saw the fire. It went around the union buildings. Then in Gazuti, in Gingeniswe, I was then in open vision. I was in the union buildings. My eyes were open, and I saw a little in the middle of the room, in one of the rooms. I don't know what kind, the, the type of room that is or kind. I've never been inside, but there was it had brown uh, tiles, and in the middle of the room there was a circle. Then in the middle of the room there was something, not a stage, like a monument. Amen. And in there there was. Um, um, do you know a pentagram? Pentagram. Those who understand the satanic know he works by pentagram. The triangle. Do you understand? I, I saw something like that, and I saw the fire coming, 
And at first I said, oh, praise God, it's deliverance for South Africa. And the Lord said, no, no, it's judgment. The fire's judgment. <laughs> Amen. So I, I, I had to ask the Lord. The Lord told me this a few days ago. And I was like, Lord, could you not get a big, big prophet, big prophets in South Africa to deliver this? <laughs> Amen. I won't say what the Lord said because you think in Champagne has Pagamese. Amen. But in summary, God said, you're the man for the job. Go by inking, I couldn't explain. You won't try sugarcoat, you'll be honest. So I'll be honest. As the Lord has revealed to me the state of South Africa, Amen. If there's something you're not happy about, even in imagery, nothing too wild, don't worry. Amen. But if you are not happy, don't be mad at me now. Be mad at, at the Lord. Because he said, Amen. Uh, people of God perish for a lack of knowledge. In Israel, if you understand, just by the texture of scripture, each time they would turn away from God and start serving foreign gods, uh, there would be a famine. Amen. In other words, their economy would decline. In other words, people would start dying off. In other words, they would not advance forward. If you understand the Old Testament, you understand that was the model. Okay? Amen. And the Lord said to me, the reason South Africa is not advancing, you think it's advancing because you see civilization. And if civilization is possible without advancement, it's possible. In Genesis chapter 4, Cain, the man uh, called Cain who killed his brother, the Bible says he left the presence of God and built a city outside the presence of God. He built civilization. I'm sure the people of the time would say, oh, we are advancing. But at least the Bible had left the presence of God. And it's not possible to advance in the matters of the Spirit without, you can progress, but advancement is different. Amen. To the teaching, praise God. Go to 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 21. By the way, there's an announcement that was left after, um, under the announcement. We are pledging for a conference. It was not mentioned at all. Send play jail and a palisa nonk. Ubano ose palsil. Abanya babka palisi is the reason. So palisa today, Mrs. Koshi Wangan. Palas palis. Praise God. Amen. And Elijah came to all the people and said, How long will you falter between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal is God, follow him. Please open in NIV. And Elijah came to all, and Elijah went before the people and said, How long will you waver between two opinions? In other words, okay? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal is God, then follow him. Amen. Here when it says he went before the people, I know it's a misnomer. You think maybe a couple of hundreds. He went before millions. The first miracle is how they all communicated without a microphone and speakers. But that's for another day. He went before an entire nation. And he said, guys, this is what God says. If you understand, so long as it's referring to 1 Kings chapter 17, 18 and 19. Amen. Uh, as I said, today is a message. Amen. I won't necessarily teach, but I'll explain the message. So if you understand, in 1 Kings 17, 18, 19, little by belly, there was a man named uh, Ahab. Ahab was a son of one of the kings before, uh, uh, um, who, who loved Baal and Asherah, which was his seat of the time. When Ahab came, um, the Bible says he did worse in the sight of God. Amen. When he came, he did worse in the sight of God. And as a result, there was a serious famine. God sent Elijah the prophet. And Elijah stood as a prophet and said, Guys, God says there will now be a famine. And he walked away, left for three and a half years. Amen. And the economy declined. But civilization continued. They co if you understand, if you could read those three chapters, a kai. Life is continuing. There's a famine, because, but there's civilization. And what's blinding my children is that they see civilization and think there's advancement. 
and there is something called demonic civilization which we are going to look at uh, first corinthians chapter 12 verse 1 these are just scriptures to frame what i'm talking about amen someone may say why bother we know in south africa there's corruption we know in south africa the economy isn't good uh, and we know what is socially maybe there's divorces homosexuality and all of that um, maybe new king james version we all know this so i'm not here to tell you what you know because you all know I i'll explain it a bit so yes yeah, the south african king is called god i want your eyes i want the lord to unveil and the scales of your eyes to fall so you can see spiritually what is happening with south africa because if you can see what's happening spiritually because the, you see what's happening in south africa man potholes load shedding corruption that the declining economy the high of interest rates do you see all of that it's just a reflection it's not even the original it's a reflection of the original that is happening in the spirit. Do, do you hear that? So today we are looking at spiritual. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant. There's a version that says, I do not want you to be unaware. Now concerning spiritual. Why did I even bother looking at gifts? It's because that verse originally, Bab July, the gifts there, if you have a Bible, El Ne Lexicon, El Lexicon is a study Bible, you, you'll see what gifts is in italics. Whose Bible shows gifts in italics? The word gifts there should be in italics. Yours, Mom Green, shows italics. Do you know why? Whenever there's a word in the Bible that is in italics, it means it was not there originally. It was placed by the interpreters of the Bible to, because they looked at the entire context of the chapter. So for understanding. So if you look at First Corinthians chapter 12, it's speaking about spiritual gifts. So what the interpreter did, which is, I, I don't think it was correct. He put the word gifts there just to, to understand. But how this scripture actually reads, Paul is saying to them, now concerning the spirituals, I do not want you to be unaware. Now concerning spirituals, that's why today I'm saying the state of the nation address concerning spirituals. Amen. Before chapter 12, we find out that Paul had, uh, this is just a framework, it's not what I'm talking about. Paul had taught them about doctrine, had taught them about doctrines from Jerusalem, doctrines from Arabia, which he got when he was with, uh, with uh, the Lord Jesus Christ in Arabia. And he's talking about doctrines, the doctrines of prayer, of fasting, of understanding uh, the scriptures, even uh, the, 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 the scriptures of the prophets. Then go to it. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's not uh, you know, get faster uh, in fellowship. Now they must understand spirituals. So if you I study of the word of God from chapter 12, Paul Ungena Kwezamoy, Alangama spiritual gift. But here in verse 1, it doesn't say concerning spiritual gift, he says concerning spiritual, it's his introduction to unveiling their eyes to the realm of the spirit. He's saying concerning spirituals, I do not want you to be ignorant. So that's the premise of what the Lord wants to deliver today, the discourse of today. That concerning spiritual matters, I do not want you. I know believers say, no, no, I mean, I'm so spiritual. If you can't see in the spirit, you are not as spiritual as you think. Praise God. So Paul said, mm -mm, I took 11 chapters. You pray, uh, you, you, you give, uh, uh, and all the other cardinals you know as a believer you must do. Masters, mm -mm, amen, full stop. Chapter 12, now concerning the spiritual realm. I do not want you to be unaware. So today, by the help of the Holy Spirit, I will deliver a message from Kwamoya. Amen. Amen. So we said the, 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 the frame scripture is in 1 Kings chapter 18 verse 21. Now Elijah, now we understand the Bible says Israel have faltered. They have followed a certain deity God called Baal. Within Baal, there were many other gods under him. So multi-gods, but together he was called Baal. He's called Baal. And God sends a prophet at Ibabuz. How long will you waver between two opinions? 
umuphale inkulunkulu landelani yena if unkulunkulu wasezulwini inkulunkulu landelani yena kodwa nikwazi ukuxhamalaza so it's not ukuthi abantwana base Israel base bemkhoshwe completely unkulunkulu sebebheka ubhali nonkulunkulu babeya ke yena ngesonto bahlale kingdom ambassadors badance ithomoya ngomsomuluko babuye lekubhali bahlale kubhali kuze kube umgqibeli babuye ngesonto ngizwe ngomoya ayi ukuthi base bemkhohliwe completely ubhalu yini ubhalu uyinto ekususa nkulunkulu abanye phone hey i digress ngicela ukubuyela ngicela 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 amen ukuthi you don't understand the spirit deity of god is speaking to me right now i'm trying to I made very copious notes as he was speaking so that I don't digress. Yabo manje ngifuna ungena kwenye into uthi no. It's not in what it's not in the message. Now you are preaching so I'm back to the message. Amen. So in South Africa, give me about an hour. An hour. In South Africa, there are three pillars as any other society called to South Africa kakhulukazi South Africa is premised on the political landscape. It's premised on the economical landscape. Amen. Nisa nami ngibona nthuli. And it's premised thirdly on the social landscape. Amen. In South Africa nje buyibona there is a political landscape, there is an economical landscape, there is a social landscape. Is a politic as of not as of pila. Now the message le unkulunkulu angenika yona South Africa eh uthi too long has the church been dealing with things at an individual level So in other words say no suppose married there's a problem in her marriage we we deal with the problem in her marriage Mshamba be right sikubek The same moya ubuyele Jess Sisizu Jess mshamba be right sikubek Akulu fezeka size yena lelisayithi igule nayo sibuyele manje sisiza uthi unkulunkulu uma ningashaya phezulu lezinto ezikhona kumndeni khona imndeni manje engabhekani xabeni ayibhekani there's witchcraft even between the family there are godly people who love god but they want to divorce now it's because we keep dealing individual family we need to look at territorial So the message yeah na mhlanje is the territory of South Africa but it will filter down to families individuals individuals amen so ngayilalele ayikwa kuhle ke seziyazi South Africa ukuthi ibanjweni so kwenzani ukuthi ibe right siqhubeke thi na nempilo no no you will need to understand that so that you can dethrone lokho kusendlini but akusizi us dethrone lokho kusendlini ama altar akini ngoba they'll come back because angithi lo usakhona This thing is like changing too many ministers in a cabinet in a country. If the president is wicked, and you show it to president, you in any country and there are bad laws that kill people. Fana who knows Nazi Germany? In Nazi Germany. No Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler ibulala abantu abavalele in something called a chamber kwakuthiwa ma concentration camp bangene kwi chamber bafa bulala abantu abangasibona the Aryan race ababe yona. And why loke shintsha ama advisor abantu ababebona internationally ukuthi lento enze ulo baba yimbi would call ukuthi e shintsha lento and what he would do loke shintsha nje ama advisor here and there kodwa iqhubeka ngoba yena usamidli so ngishona ukuthi uma ufuna ushintsha omele ushaye ekhanda phezulu awazi ukudila la gezansi amen so the lord said to me any nation specifically south africa today because that's what we are talking about is premised on the political landscape economical landscape and the social that's our discourse today we are going to look at the political landscape the political landscape whether we like it or not informs the economical landscape and the economical landscape whether we like it or not will inform the social landscape amen let's start with the political landscape This is where the bulk of the teaching is. Ngoba na understand alokho 
Loko kunye will just breeze. Amen. Now, let's look at the political landscape. I use the word political loosely and I'll use it interchangeably with government. Although, I'm a, I'm a politics, no hulumen in Order for the sake of this discourse, I will just use it interchangeably. Amen. So, under the political landscape, write this down. South African government. South African government is there's the legislature, there's the executive, there's the judiciary. Amen. Ulumen was South Africa. South African government is divided into three. There's the legislature, there's the executive, and there's the judiciary. This is just so you know. Go imagine. When Umatua Inganesas now abort to South Africa. Uvelio strike her palm guard Ramaphosa. Can't exit Ramaphosa when you said it's not his arm of, of government. Amen. What is the legislature responsible for? It is the law-making wing of South Africa. The legislature is the law-making wing. This is called Parliament. Amen. Kwa legislature, it's where South Africa makes South African laws. Any laws in South Africa are made under the legislature. This is parliament. Amen. This is what is called parliament. A parliament. And the people who make the laws, it's not the president now. It is people called members of parliament. Abantu abenza umtheto is the legislature or the members of parliament. The president does have to sign off, but even if he says, no, Mina, I, I don't like this, unfortunately, Uma, enough members of parliament So that's the legislature. After legislature is the executive. The executive is the president and his cabinet. This is the president and his ministers. Ama ministers are not necessary legislature. Some are, but not necessarily. The executive. Lapo u president na ma minister zaki is the president and his cabinet. Benzan bona, they execute the laws made by the legislature. Their role, the executive, the second leg of government is called the legislature. And bona, they execute the laws made by the legislature. So by our ends, by our implement, Abenza show South Africa, Une infrastructure now, the infrastructure with internal policies or certain things that must be put in place to ensure the laws that have been made by the legisla legislature take effect. We understand this. Then lastly is the judiciary. The last arm or wing of government is called the judiciary. This is a judiciary like a judge and magistrate in Kantolo. You are under the leg of government called the judiciary. I'm a judge, I'm a magistrate. Okay. What is the judiciary responsible for in government? To keep the law and ensure strict compliance. Amen. But put on South Africa, see Kantolo loosely. Amen. Who are you saying can't all in the bunga swag legislature? Bobby legislature doesn't ensure compliance. It just makes the laws, passes them on to the president and his executive. The executive implement them. Then the judiciary judges based on them and ensures the strict adherence and compliance. If there's no compliance with the law, you won't be in trouble with the president. You won't be in trouble with a member of parliament. You'll be in trouble with the magistrate or the judge you'll be before. Do you understand this? You know understand the language. Now understand the inside. Amen. Amen. Get what thing like that? Get what like that? Get what like that? Get as in phone up soon. As in the egg. Huh? In phone up soon, up soon. Mas we have we are listening to Safan. Sexual making concern. Let's hear this. Now we understand the government is in three. 
what I just gave you is open knowledge. Those who did the LLB know this. You know this. Remember, we covered it. I'm sure, Mam Green, you recall from school. It's open knowledge. It's important to know these three different things because you then understand how the spirituals in South Africa work. So the legislature is seats. The legislature, a parliament, the ilap. Where is parliament? It's in Cape Town. The seat of the legislature, La Egwenzwa Konimte, so that governs South Africa, is a Cape Town. The seat of the president and his executive is the union buildings. Where is? Which is in Pretoria. Then the seat of the judiciary, Ama Judge, is in Bloemfontein. Amen. Why is it in Bloemfontein? The Supreme Court of Appeal, which is the highest court to appeal anything except for constitutional matters, is in Bloemfontein. Then if you want to appeal constitutional matters, it's the constitutional court in Bramfantein La Ekush. Amen. Okay. Now let's start with the legislature and understand Uguti. Ye niking a legislature. I invite the worship team in Salila. Go bang zobang project. Give us it home bang vezama video. And camera woman Elubach and Yis and Abasekaya as soon as I project. Amen. I know Kona is South Africa umteto. Oti, if you don't like a child, you can just abort the child. Amen. If you don't like your husband or you don't love, like your wife, you can just easily divorce them. You don't have to stress, okay? Kona umteto oti e eskole nu unkulego lo our father eskole melupu me manje eskole yes. Young elemteto yenziwa not the president but the legislature. In the Bioguti, Labos is Beba Sega and Juma Benga Tandan amongst themselves Bangashat, homosexuality. Yen Ziwa by the legislature. Amen. Now I want to understand why I legislate. Let me tell you, Commission. Amen. Even Abanda Banga call, I can tell you what I. It doesn't sound good. Amen. Yin Ayens and Jalu. Now, in Cape Town, in the land of Parliament, in Parliament, there's something called the Lord, the Good Hope. Lord the Good Hope. Amen. A.K.A. a Freemasonry Temple. In Parliament, there is a Freemasonry Temple. Hello, visit the White Building. Here it is. It's in Parliament. A Freemasonry Temple. What I am teaching you is not it's so secret. It used to be secret. Thank you so much. That will help. It used to be secret, but that's a Freemasonry temple. Is it possible on the laptop to zoom a bit? Funan Peggy symbol on top of that window. In Parliament, Gifunan Boni, how the laws that are made by Parliament are influenced by the Satanic. This is Parliament, eh? I'll show you a video now that takes a tough parliament and the Freemasonry Temple. It was in the news, if you think it's a hearsay. No, in the open. And it's now we want to fight against the ANC. They are so corrupt. Put the EFF, the same thing will happen. Put the DA, the same thing will happen. Why? So that's why Kwasuga, the apartheid government, ANC, ANC, if you know them, they would call themselves communists. Abanda ba communists, abanda ba ngokole long kulungulu. So no munga shintu government. Still ligzo ba no gona galle South Africa ngoba ngoba tina sloge shintu ala asi na inkinga yetu na li temple lese Freemason, amen. It was established in the late 1700s, around 1772. God gave me this information, by the way. I had to go research and Google to check if what he's saying, the information now. And I found it. Where's it gone? I was shook. God was telling me this. That YouTube link. Inside this Freemasonry temple, it's open knowledge. It's not a hearsay. link. Gifuna sports yi ne se parliament and jengu bas nem tete ngatinch a izwan nungkulungkul. So 
SABC. So this is what happened. Let me give you a, a background a bit now of what had happened. Um, before you press play, this Freemasonry temple, um, many members of parliament belong to it. It was found out, a certain news article published it. Then Babot, their little secret is out. So what they then did was they said, let's invite Abenda, Babal Bonekashe. Then we just say, no, no, this is just a symbolism. We don't really do Freemasonry here. It's just, it's like any other society. But we're going to go deeper into Freemasonry so you can understand. Who will say, I, but in their website here, Freemasonry. Oh, by the way, Freemasonry is international. It's a secret club. It's a secret gentleman's club that believes in a god named Jabulon. Jabulon, but it's some big Jabulon. Gobu Jabulon is actually Bal. I'll prove it to you. They are all over the world in different cities and many presidents, many ministers, and many people who hold high economical and high political seats in any country usually belong to the Freemasons. They have secret rituals that are done in the dark. One of the rituals is you go inside a circle, there's a pentagram in the middle of the circle, then we are shukilan. If you president, you need to bring enough sacrifice. president. But it's okay. Let's play the video. Now they've been found out there's a Freemasonry temple. Now they invite media for the first time in parliament to look at this temple. Okay, play it. Don't, don't get distracted. hidden where? Pause, pause, pause. Did you get the first part? Hidden away, it's a pity. What the buzz is in the parliament? Hidden away within parliament, there's a Freemasonry temple. Until the model is in the model of who's Solomon's temple. Solomon of the Bible. I will talk about South Africa about the Constitution. Anybody, you can be whatever. If you come to Tabu, Tabu is a god, it's fine. In South Africa, you don't your religion, it's fine. They don't believe in any of that. They don't believe in Christianity, they don't believe in, not that they don't believe, but they let you do whatever it is you want, okay? But there's a Freemasonry temple in the parliament where our decisions are made. But Leomo Delia, Freemasonry, it's in the it's in the order of Solomon. It's temple Lakon. And it, you know, Satan will replicate in the corner. In the word of God. So look back and But what's the thing to Parliament? Who is the Parliament? The presentative government in South Africa was actually initiated uh, amongst others by a lot of problems with the U.S. Pause, 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 pause. Did you get that a bit? We must still revert. That democracy, this. Democracy, as I told, it was initiated by many Freemasonaries. He's making it so common. Yeah, it was initiated. You have one to Jenga Tin. What does he beg Freemasonary to him? Back. Do you see where our constitution was drafted? The constitution is about, about, about. But we don't do tender, untlagao Isaac, shut down, it's okay. We are being tolerant. Do you see that it's over and above just, I let's tolerate everyone, but there's a spiritual agenda. It's free, they are saying it now, but they are trying to casualize it. So good I know, you know, guys, there isn't to it. Go back. Pause. The Freemasons are still meeting inside the lodge in Parliament. Even now, they are still meeting, seeing how they can control South Africa. Quebec. 
go back, go, oh my God, go back. Okay, yeah, la la la. Zok chela bang, it's pause. This Pause. What's that? Who knows what's that? What that symbolism is for? Islam. Say it. Islam. So the order inside, it looks like the, the temple of Solomon, which is the temple of God in the Bible, but they have images of Islam. But this Justin isn't an image of Islam. It's also, you see that moon, Baboni Munenje, it represents witchcraft. It represents witchcraft. Okay, go back. It's rich in symbolism. Are those are those sorry are those not Greek deities? Greek. They worship them even now. Well, it's a parliament. Angus in Mzuile Kuluma Bands in Tatel. But even our constitution here in Zelua Kornala. Go back. Inside Parliament, then we wonder why our state is a nation. Tina Slogasilwa ne NC. As far as DA, as far as FF, no, no. Each person, okay, in Zogushon, what we can is saying, Pegan a camera. Most of the political parties that we want are prominent, they have members in the Freemasonry. Just Google it. There are articles about it, yes? I, this knowledge, as it comes to me, I check this, and I'm like, oh, okay. Go look, go back. The, pause. There are dead, there are bones of dead Freemasons buried there. They say, Bona, they teach equality and liberty. And it's Ubano wife in constitution. You have everybody has a right to equality. This is what they now did. They wanted, they saw that now there's a serious uprising amongst, especially the majority, which is the black people in South Africa. Uh, and South Africans want apartheid gone. Okay? So they said, no, no, but we still want to be in charge. How can we? sell them what they want, but still when they get what we want, our diabolical agenda. Let's give them the right to equality. Let's give them freedom of religion. It's so good. Oh, wow. Tina, we are free. We can, we can choose to be religion, Christianity, there's equality. It's still their agenda. That's why their equality and their freedom of religion and their freedom of sexual orientation, they took it far. That's why now the highest number, during apartheid, there wasn't necessarily homosexuality. Yeah, you corner, but it wasn't this high. It was very. When they gave us freedom, by there, I mean Freemasons. I'm not a racist at all. I mean Freemasons. When they allowed South Africa to be democratic, they didn't, they didn't give us hand as democracy. It was a trade. It was a trade. Let's take apartheid, take democracy. Give us, take away your freedom. Can I help you? Okay, go quickly. Just play the gentleman what he's saying. We have a long teaching. Go back. Know thyself. Okay, go back. How you should apply what? Apply. He didn't say morality, he said immorality. He just said it fast enough that you think he's kind of ethic. Ethics, you're like, okay, immorality, okay, he means morality, let's continue. But it's fine, continue. In our parliament in South Africa, Quebec. Did you hear? Quebec, Quebec. (laughs) 
they hope to retain a good relationship with Parliament for another 200 years. They were established in the 1700s, around 1772. And they were inaugurated completely as the Freemasonry Temple in 1803 in South Africa. And ever since the Parliament in South Africa, you must research it, 200 years later. They are saying 200 to go even. So be So be Then certain believers say Christians must stay out of politics. Which territory are you going to affect if you don't know this knowledge about your country? Okay, just continue. Finish the video. They are the ones who sold the land to parliament. So parliament owes them. Okay, just continue. In fact, I'm done with the video, but I subsequently back. It's a busy news. Parliament. So now they've been found out. They have this little thing going. They do news. SFs, not just SFBC. I believe yeah, you like if I don't uh, research reminds me well. Uh, and they try to make it so normal. They try to make it so normal. This is normal. They make it so normal. So did you hear what it turned up? Utena our constitution and our democracy. Let me prove it to you. Do you know the South African Court of Arms? Or Ngati Loko, yes, South Africa, for who's understanding the national logo, yes. After democracy. Get to melele lea pre democracy. Are we ruling until democracy? Lea before democracy, this is the South African one. This is the democratic. Before that, what corner any? If you two men are you able to quickly? Let me quickly. Let me quickly send it to you. Ibanin Mugalanj, and tell me if there are any concerns biblically of this new coat of arms. Jalalani, do you want to ask the park no blind deal or no? That's no blind deal, blind deal. Praise God. Praise Jesus. It's a best. It's praise Jesus. It is fun decent. Praise Jesus. Amen. You two when I tell you when. Okay, I've sent it to you. Let me start by looking at this one. Let's start by looking at this one. Then as he loads up the other one, this is the current coat of arms. Okay, one of the Freemasonry principles is their secret handshake. Who knows that? But some of Freemasons handshake up. We, we know that. Amen. What are these two people doing there in the logo inside? What are they doing? Okay, let's go. Who's been to France? I bang well hambani France in yes. Get come on chess. Kulunumoyo international. When a male in France proposes a female in France on delages, when you get a piece, when they propose a male, they don't I don't know, I think it's American or what is it? I don't know. But this is what how they propose. If I, as a man, say I love her, I want to marry her, this is what I do. This is how can you marry me? <laughs> Just wants to marry me. Get Kamalia Jessica Mamula Lomoy. This is what they do. Before, obviously, they then say it's in those corner. I, I'm not well acquainted. Thank you so much. Do these appear like two men? Is it possible they are asking each other to get married homosexuality? Is it possible? Go Benza Lento, Uma Umunde proposer. So already in 1994, homosexuality was put as part of the national law of South Africa. Before, Yonage was more diabolical. This is the court of arms in South Africa before democracy. Yeah. 
you will need to understand revelation uh, just a bit of a uh, the garden of eden representing sin the goddess of fertility now this is ashera ashera if fertility i can meant woman on woman men on men uh, what is this but it's fine this looks like baphomet we're gonna look at baphomet who is a demon just now as well amen this is just the landscape of south africa and it's from Mason, I figure and get democracy since 1700s. They just intensified get democracy. Because we wanted freedom. They're like, okay, we'll give you freedom. Freedom from God and slavery to us. Okay, let me leave this. Just go read Revelation so you can understand. Praise God. Uh, okay, so uh, the men they said, Tini Freemasonary, no, we are just J. We promote. A liberty and equality and we teach people to live right you are born what in jay and it was will when that's free masonry is something so good go to his side near free masonry no 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 this is the american dollar let's go to the signs where there are many law difference yes this is the sign of free masonry this is the sign of Freemasonry. Nebon. Nebon Abanguel. Like the name in Albona Lilish. Nebona Lilish. It's the all sing eye. Amen. It's the all sing eye. Um, uh, should I go into this now or later? Okay, go into the dollar. Imal, the American dollar, do you see that again? The dollar is controlled by the Freemasons. The dollar is one of the strongest currencies. It's not the strongest currency. There are many other stronger ones. But we rank a strong currency is the dollar. The most circulated currency in the world is the dollar. So the economy is under Freemasonry, as you see that. Okay, go back to them. This is the all thing I uh, of Jabulon, who's a demonic entity they believe in. Amen. Go to the Wikipedia definition. Jabulon. Jabulon or Jabulan. <laughs> I got to follow Jabulan, but anyways, it's pronounced as Jabulon. Jabulon from Hebrew, Yabal. Ya? 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 Is the word which is allegedly used in some rituals of Royal Ike Masonry. They have rituals where they call Yabal, Jabulon. I've heard the US residents once say, it's Yeah, we bless God, Jabulon. You, you won't even Jabulon, Yabal. I will show me Nangish, we just beg you, we copy the agent, independent. O Elijah, Utin. To the Israelites in First Kings chapter 18. If Baal is God, follow him. If God is God, follow him. You cannot waver in between. Do you now see the problem of South Africa? Do you see this? Amen, Bangwell. Okay, I think we're going to you for now. There is a double kingdom. Go to Daniel chapter 10. Then get to Ujabulon. Ujang is Jablan, but I will Ujabulon. Jabulon. Then get it Jabulon. Ego, who your influence the South African politics. Then get to Yeno Pet. I just go to Yeno Kulungun. I want to say to you in every territory, there is a double kingdom. In every territory, there is a double kingdom. Go to Daniel chapter 10. We're going to start reading from verse 10. I want to show you a double kingdom. I know some of you know this, but just for everybody, for a holistic teaching. This is Daniel. Yeah, in Bella News, News, News. This is Daniel, okay? Daniel, we are born with Naim Yagi Hamba. 
as a nation of Israel, Sabanjwe Kila, the page of Babylon, Ulunkul Gunzagalani. So he prays faithfully for an answer. Now, this is how he receives the answer. Okay. Suddenly a hand touched me, which made me tremble on my knees and on the palm of my hands. Okay. And he said, Oh, Daniel, man, man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak to you and stand upright, for I have now been sent to you. While he was speaking this word to me, I stood trembling. The entire nation is in captivity under Babylon. Okay? Then he said to me, Do not fear, Daniel. For from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard and have come because of your words. Very good, Quebec. There's a double kingdom. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me 21 days. And behold, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, for I had been left alone there with the kings of Persia. Amen. Daniel, Daniel, we are South Africa, Loge, Sebenzaiko, Yabulalwana, Isango Mushilo, Pastor Isaac. What so it's a requirement, it's not just saying it for fun, it's a literal requirement. If it's story sacu fees as in Genic SAPC, Nez, we let Lake Agluacon. Love. At least either homosexuality or mgom. It's a, it has to be in your storyline if you want it to be admitted. So what he's saying is not it's not a it's a policy, okay? It's a it's a law for a lack of a better word. Are you good to your shown? Okay. So now U Daniel, Ula, Utin Katele South Africa, and as Uti Simosia Beta, Ulukulungenele. Ufing a loss again on day twenty one. It's Daniel since the first day, Ukulek, Sabuzwa, and between then and now, got the day, Ukutingi Zognigin Pendulu as a South Africa. So he had been given jurisdiction to pray over the nation of Israel. Okay, so in Gilosi, it's Ben Zognigin Pendulu, Otwa, and Jelenia Minsuga Zulin from the third heaven. I had to go through the second heaven and the first heaven, Gizen Figelim Shaben. In the second heaven, there was the prince of the kingdom of Persia, Eang Luisa, in Luisela, and Utinge, things of Nigin Pendu. Do you understand that? Why is this demon a mbamba la pim katin? Pung a shogus, there was a demon a phonings of Nigin Pendu. Why do it the prince of the kingdom of Persia? In Persia, la pa physically, yang ye king cos. Eikon, was there no king? There was a king, his name was Cyrus. You know Cyrus in Daniel. So there was a physical king called Cyrus. But Laga should it Cyrus, Cyrus, or Ben Ugain, in Wayam Catinum Bam. But still, there was a prince of Persia. Ah, who Cyrus Nangan Zakaban Ugain in Bayalapa? No, there is a demon. Now, Lectiwa is the prince of Persia. There is a physical prince and king of Persia, Lim Sabeni. Go to M. Catin, there is also a demon. Now, Lenny, king and a prince of South Africa, for example. That means whatever happens in South Africa, if there is a president of South Africa, it's either there is a spirit who is God influencing that president of South Africa, or there is a demon that is influencing. We just understood in parliament who's influencing. It's Jabulon. And Jabulon is Baal. So South Africa, in terms of South Africa, as I'm not the societal culture is governed by a demon in the second heavens called Baal. Go to Ezekiel chapter 28. I want to emphasize Lento your double kingdom. Goba Konongangkod, Konongangkod. Was when I'm a demon, Uta Hamba, Lemshabinik Pel. This is very good what you are playing. Emshab, oh, Ginchala, my demon, Alab. Kona matimona ngapha tsiko lwandle. Khona matimona angaphansi kwamathuna. Khona matimona ahamba emhlabeni. Khona matimona ahamba in the atmosphere. Khona matimoni okay and emhlabeni khona intaba mountains. Eh then khona matimoni that sits in the second heavens. 
That's why Paul in, in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, he says, I know a man who went to the third heaven. If there's a third heaven, there's a second heaven. That's why Paul in Ephesians 6 says, we do not fight against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness. Where? In heavenly places. In heavenly places. Nama demon, that are the highest ranking. In heavenly places. That's why South Africa has been prayed for for over a decade. I am saying to you, there is a God diet to pal in the second heavens. South Africa. It's not natural. It's not natural. That's indoor. That in, okay, I see you see a parliament. They are old men and women. Most of them are probably married. Amen. Most of them have kids. Amen. Whether with dawa, whether shabela matos, no more whether conza the true God under the premise of Jesus Christ. These three men, I can assure you, they agree. Ugut akfuneki, ugut ingane ngane. Shambi, leange. Ugelgel la pangemu. How old are you? Yes, she's 12. If she belongs to any of these three men, it's not okay that she's taught that she can marry and kiss another girl. Am I lying? Even Muslims will tell you that's diabolical. Even the Christian men will tell you that's diabolical. Even the unbelieving men of Shabela Majors will say, Ini. So you see, it's no longer just the intellect of a band of parliament. Une tempe le puma konim tete. So bega man jibu si shanga shanga leon. Niangi zo bangel. Ezekiel twenty eight. Ezekiel twenty eight. Let's read from verse one. I, I want to finalize lendo et double kingdom kolo ge uzo mpigis. The word of the Lord came to me again, saying, Kulumala, the prophet Ezekiel, Quebec, son of men, say to the prince of Tyre. Tyre was a, a not a euphemism, what's the English word? But back on the Babylon, Tyre is Babylon. Amen. Say to the prince of Tyre, thus says the Lord, because your heart is lifted up, and I say, I am a God, and you say, I am a God, and sit in the seat of God in the midst of the seas. Yet you are men and not a God. Yes, Unkulunkulu is rebuking the prince of Tyre or Babylon, the prince of Babylon, who's a physical person. How do we know? Because Unkulunkulu am rebuke. Also, when you are saying you are sitting seated in the council of gods, yet you are men and you are not God. So why a wound to encourage a icon, a wound to? Yeah, he unrighteous. Yeah, he prideful. Yeah, he azuguti. Yeah, nakpele wa zuguenzi zinto zenzegi. Yeah, ni best. Okay. Now let's understand by the same chapter. Uguti he wenga zenz uguta ektegangalo. There was a certain demon also called the prince or king of Tyre or Babylon as well. And I in jalo. So the person, the earthly king, will take the model and the shape of the demonic king. Kubega go to eleven. Go to eleven. Moreover, the kulunya about the physical king yase Tyre. Who was boastful? Lasa Kulunya about the prince, the demonic la in the heavenly places. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Quebec, Son of man, take up a lamentation for the king of Tyre. Now I know this king of Tyre was a spiritual king, Islam Katin. Why? And say to him, Thus says the Lord, you were the seal of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty, Quebec. Kulunya Walusifala Satan. You were in Eden, the garden of Eden. Now you see, it's not possible with Kulunya and Gekos, they physical as a time. Obeila, the Garden of Eden. But Satan, Lucifer, was there. Every precious stone was your covering. The sardius, the topaz, the diamond, the beryl, the onks, the jester, the sapphire, the turquoise, the emerald, and the gold. The workmanship of timbers and pipes was prepared for you. He was a beautiful. But do you see the reason Babylon was a superpower? for centuries is because the demon head that was controlling them was Lucifer himself. 
So do you see that in a nation that is unrighteous or goes against the word of God, the, the, the reason it's acting like that is not because the president is wicked. Corner a demon in the second heavens that is influencing how this thing must take shape. Do you understand? Very close to Jabulin is a demon called a, a Bamofet. They are actually cousins in demonic folklore. There's a man named uh, Eliphas Levi. He's the one that introduced the concept, or not the concepts of satanic, but he started making it fashionable and acceptable. He started writing books about it, how to practice rituals. And before it was taboo. But he was like, no, no, I will be open, guys. There's something called satanism. If you want to join, this is what you do. Okay? One of the big contributors now being it's folklore i'm speaking about this i don't want to say myths because it's true that he wrote about one of the gods one is bal jabulin his cousin or one let me not say his cousin but his relative is a god called baphomet baphomet this is Baphomet. How do you say that? Just switch off. Who knows Hollywood? Baphomet twala ngogwe illuminati. This is your guy. Illuminati. In other pictures, he's shown as doing this. Have you ever seen celebrities? They are giving homage to their god, Baphomet. Have you ever seen them do this? They are paying homage to Baphomet. <laughs> Amen. Law is sure what's up and law is South Africa. Yeah, now let's hang into the mix. Let's hang. Let me come down. What does he bring to the mix of South Africa? Eh, uh, Miller. Do you see what this looks like a man because he's wearing some sort of pants, whatever it is? It's a man. Yet it has breasts. Unigender. That's why in Ghana, in Tombazan, any umfana, ama puga kishwa yomaja. Not just the South African shaba onk. So I say, ko lento go to she or he. Bas biza ngan get they gambe or something. Get they. I say ko he no she. Unisex. Where the West Lisa West Fazani get fana. It's Baphomet. He's a man that's also a female. What is written in his hands? La, it's written Kagula. Okay, let's start there with Solve. Solve, there is not solve, just the solve in English. It's Latin Solve, which means to separate. Then here is written Kogula, which means to bind together. Solve, to separate. It's okay to separate. You have a godly marriage, you can be separated divorce. Kogula, to be joined together or to be yoked with. It, it, Kogula, if you you can just go research it. It's two things that are the same that are yoked together. Homosexuality. What is there on his head? It's the pentagram, which is the world war, worldwide a known symbol for, sa for Satanism. Hey, praise God. In fact, in the Satanic Temple in USA, Ukonu Baphomet is the face of the Satanic Temple. He's a cousin of Jabulin. The Jabulin Okonzu Lama Freemason Arashale Parliament even today. Why is the one? Do you see the moon there again? The witchcraft. Masakona Banda Basba, my Islam's born. Bona, they believe in unity. Why is your, is your religious sign in Satanism? Satanism, then you can be Islam, you can be Hindu, you can be any other thing. Let me say to you, I present to you, if you're not a Christian, automatically, you, you, you cannot tell me what I, Muslims, minankonzu satan. Why, Paul, who is tombe, as the place depict to satan, corner your religious logo of them. Why? One hand is like this, the other 
If you research this pose, yeah, okay, let me come up so you can all see me. If you research this pose, Kutiwa, what he's saying is, in earth as it is in heaven, they are citing the Bible. But the heaven they mean is not the third heaven where our God and Jesus Christ sit. They are meaning the second heaven is the prince of demons. They are saying as it is called, now let it be on earth. That's performance. Praise God. This is who in South Africa we are dealing with. The economical landscape, let's go to, I'm already out of time. We looked at the political landscape. Let's go to the economical landscape. Amen. Let's go to the economical landscape. Let's open First Kings chapter 16. Now, politically, we know who is really pulling the strings there. How does it then affect the economical landscape? If we are a country where and I'm not condemning anyone, hey? If you are here and the spirit of homosexuality is like Bambi, who Jesus oxies? There's this thing that is said, Twa, I felt like this since I was born, since I was a kid, I always knew. Although I was a kid, I always felt like a man. That's what I'm saying, I'm going to go back to But this is one of the demons that attacks you in the womb of your mother. So, uzalwa unaleo edge okuba the opposite sex. They're not lying. But I'm saying there's deliverance in Zion. By the name of Jesus Christ. Don't worry. If you are here, the Lord is going to help you today. If you are watching online, I love you so much. Come to God. Praise God. The Lord hates sin, but he loves the sinner. First Kings chapter 16, verse 29. In the 38th year of Asa, king of Judah, Ahab, the son of Omri, became king over Israel. And Ahab reigned over Israel in Sam Samaria 22 years. Okay, go back. Sponi senior Ahab, who's a challenge in famine, economical decline. He's a machine. Let's see what he, the earthly king, as influenced by the demonic king of Jabulon, who is Baal. We're going to find out. Let's see what he did. Now, Ebed, the son of, Eve, of Omri, did evil in the sight of the Lord, more than all who were before him. So he did evil. Why did he do evil? Go back. And it came to pass, as though it had been a trivial thing for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, that he took his wife, the daughter of Edbal, of the Sidions, and he went and served Baal and worshipped him. Yes, born is so, no? So Ahab. They served Washada in Dotagazia at Pal, Wam Konzisa Upal, in nation it's handing at hand, Yaba under the influence of Pal or Jebulan. As born in the consequences of that. Uh, let's see which verse are we in now. Uh, go to 36. And I have made a wooden image. I have did more pro to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger than all the kings of Israel who were before him. Okay? He was worse than everyone else. Okay, go to 17 verse 1. Now, God sends now Elijah, the prophet, and Elijah, the Tishbite of the inhabitants of Gilead, said to Ahab, as the Lord God of Israel lives, before whom, before whom I stand, there shall be no Jew, no rain these years. This is the punishment of serving Baal. There is no Jew, there is no rain. In other words, the economy declines. So one of the and learning it starts from the Israelites, Ababe Baal, which we've by research we've established eh, that in South Africa, Jabulon appears to be the guy in charge in the second heavens. This is one of the indicators that 
the nation is under the hand of Baal or Jabulan. I mean Jabulon, sorry. He's giving me an eye, like what? Jabulon. I need to learn to pronounce it. Amen. What's like Balu Jabulan? But Jabulon. One, the first sign that you are under Baal is economical decline. Economical decline means you get less, but you pay more. Amen. Those who work, those who have businesses, those who are in the marketplace, one way or the other, they receive much less for their toil. But whenever they need to get something, they have to pay much more. Amen. Does, those, does, does, not, does this not sound like South Africa a bit? Repo rates start hiking. And whenever there is now, what there'll be no rain, no dew. That means there'll be a famine. When there's a famine, people die. People lose their livestock. die. So people lose things because of bad. People lose houses. They are repossessed. People lose cars. They lose jobs. There's a recession because of bad. An economical decline. Praise God. And we know this ball in the economy is so entrenched. Open the dollar, which is the economy that is most traded in the world. Let's see who it belongs to. Do you see there? The economy already is in the hands. They dedicated it to Jabulon. Okay. The second thing you see. We are under now the economical landscape of South Africa. The first thing you see when people are under Bali is an economical decline. The second thing is an alternative economy is introduced. An alternative economy is introduced. What is an alternative economy? It's an economy that can strive outside of God and through immorality. It's an economy that can strive outside of God and through immorality. That's why no man has in South Africa. They'll always be lovers who are super rich. They've just started to tap into the alternative economy. Go to Genesis chapter 4, verse 8. Now Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and killed him. Okay, we know about Cain. He was a murderer, so he committed a grave crime before God. We know that. Amen. Okay, go jump to verse 10. Let's look at his punishment. And he said, and God said to him, what have you done? The voice of your brother cries out from me from the ground. Cries out to me from the ground. Go back, just be fast a bit. So now you are cursed from the earth. Yes, your land is cursed. Which has opened its mouth to receive your, blood, your brother's blood from your land. Go back to 12. When you till the ground, it shall no longer yield its strength to you. You shall be a fugitive and a vagabond. A vagabond you shall be on earth. Amen. Because you have committed this atrocity before God. When you work the land, unfortunately, it won't yield much for you. You won't yield much fruit. But irrespective of that economical decline, look at what happens. He finds an, an alternative economy. Go to verse uh, 16. Then Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of north, the east of Eden. He went out from the presence of the Lord. Okay? Come back. And Cain knew his wife and she conceived and bore Enoch. And he built a city. Called the name of the city after and called the name of the city after his son Enoch. After leaving the presence of God, under being a curse. After being under a curse from God. After being in an economical state that is deplorable, he leaves the presence of God and he finds an alternative economy by which he builds a city. Do you see that civilization is not an indication that you are advancing God's way? One of the signs that you are under bile is when there are alternative economies. People sell drugs. That's an alternative economy. Anything alternative to godly ways or means of making money. In Acts chapter 16, verse 16, 
we find out there was a girl who had the spirit of divination. Moya upula, umoya womgoma, for the lack of a better word. Now it happened as we went to prayer that a certain slave girl possessed with the spirit of divination met us. Jump to verse, um, uh, go to maybe 18. Okay, continue. But when the master saw that their hope of profit was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them to the marketplace. Now, here we understand by the authority of scripture that this girl in Omoya Yomgoma wasn't just a private Sangoma. She had masters, okay? And people would go there asking for fortune telling and should by this spirit of divination tell them the future. And the people would pay money and make their masters rich, okay? Go to verse 20. And they brought them to the magistrate, okay, verse 19. No, no, verse 20 was right. I apologize. I apologize. And they brought them to the magistrates and said, These men being Jews exceedingly trouble our city. City, that means territory. They trouble our territory. So do you see that these alternative ways of the owners of this slave, Gelwai no Moya Opula, was not just a trend, yeah, but it was for the city. They rebuked the spirit of divination in the city. They rebuked the spirit of divination in the city, territorially, but they still made money nonetheless. So whenever there's a... Please concentrate. Just please, everybody, stand up. Shake yourself. You are not concentrating. Shake yourself. You come alive. When is the word Lele? It's Omoy. I ask him Have you shaken yourself off? Sit down. Let's continue learning. The, the people in the book of Acts in Acts chapter 16, there was an economical decline because they were ruled by the spirit of divination in the second heavenlies. Therefore, that spirit had emitted semi little spirits on earth, ground soldiers of the same spirit, and those who can make alternative economy. And it was, they say, Paul, by rebuking that spirit, has troubled our territory, our city. So you see, that city had found a way. Although they have sinned against God, God has cast the ground and the ground is no longer yielding them any fruit. They have found an alternative way. Amen. That's why Moya Bula, uh, I once performed deliverance on a lady. It was during a church service sometime last year in a former church I was in. And she said to me, Yebo resenge ham, kote ngeo zuskai de song, kwaili South Africa yong. Some may even remember that very stubborn spirit of divination. But the spirit's parting words, says Paul Masham, says God doksala ngeo zuskai de, says kwaili South Africa yong. It's in his busai. Amen. Yeah, biti mo, ham. God aling jeli, lus God doksala ngeo zuskai de, ngoba si pete is South Africa yong. Why? Because Abba Bula, you are able to receive money. That's why the same spirit of divination, you can find it in the altar. It's on twin. Umunda was busy on prophet. Kanto no moya wok Bula. And abantu baba na ngobo accurate. Beshi inti yenze gange mpel. Baba ni accurate. Basi chetu kulu kulu. Kanti kisa umoya wok Bula. Labo ba prophet u baba na ba hamange moti ngul. Ba na mala gumalinga. It's an alternative economy. It's an alternative economy. It's one of the indic whenever you can see what is Muslim not in a in a territory is not good. Yet there are those people who are extraordinarily rich, not by God, but they are living their own life. They've found a way. Just like Cain, it says he walked out of the presence, but he was able to build a city. They've found an alternative economy. Unfortunately, that economy collapses at some point. The third thing that indicates Uguti, the economy is held by Baal, is that the land mourns. Jeremiah 12, 4. The land mourns. Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 4. How long 
will the land mourn and the herbs of every field wither the beasts and the birds are consumed for the wickedness of those who dwell there this is in the time of the prophet Jeremiah the Israelites were so wicked and God sends Jeremiah to tell them if they don't stop they'll be held captive by Babylon indeed they were held captivity by Babylon the superpower but by and how long will the land mourn the land mourns what does it mean the land mourns the land is no longer productive or to the cattle and livestock they die when you saw me so the land no long the land becomes a parched the land becomes parched and desolate psalm 68 verse 8 the land becomes 68 verse 6 apologies the land becomes desolate and parched i'll explain to you what that means god sets the solitary in families to bring out those who are bound in prosperity but the rebellious dwell in a dry land do gnt gnt good news translation but the rebellious live in a desolate land parched and desolate in Psalm 68 here in the scripture we read in Jeremiah it means the land is have you ever seen an abandoned city move and abandoned in Dao? the land becomes like that there are potholes in the roads there are potholes there's load shedding the place is dark, unproductive, there's no light, there's no entrance of light. That's why we have load shedding. It's beyond corruption. That's why we have load shedding. That's why we have portals. That's why we have corruption. The land is desolate because we are under bar. The land moans. When the land moans, it means the land can no longer help you. Do you know that the land is designed or programmed to help abandon the land? Go up and I'm going to go from the land. No more time, I don't eat herbs, I eat a, a kettle. The kettle, at some point, even if they eat other kettle, they don't eat their carnivores. At some point in the food of eating, Kono here before. So the land helps us. The land is pro- Revelation 12, they don't believe me. The land is programmed to help us. Umshaba is programmed to help us. Go to verse 13. I want to show you what Umshaba is programmed to help us. Now when the dragon saw, the dragon is Lucifer, saw that he had been cast to the earth, he persecuted the woman. The woman represents uh, the Israelites in the Old Testament, the church in the New Testament. So he persecuted the church who gave birth to the male child. The main child is the body of Christ. Quebec. It's Jesus, his body. But the woman was given two wings of a great eagle, eagle that she might fly into the wilderness to her place where she is nourished for a time, okay? In the presence of the serpent, of Quebec. So the serpent spewed water out of his mouth like a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away by the flood. It's Lucifer trying to kill the church of God. But Quebec, let's see what helps the woman. But the earth helped the woman. The earth helped, the, the earth is programmed to help human beings. Not just human beings, but women. Women being the church of Christ. And the earth opened its mouth and swallowed up the flood. Okay, I'm teaching mysteries. I see no one. It's okay. Let's continue. It means as if you fall part of the woman, the body of Christ, the, the, the special possession of Christ, you can order the earth. Earth, help me. I need you to now, it will have to respond because it's programmed there to help the woman. The woman is the bride of Christ, doesn't mean always as I. If you belong to his body, the earth is programmed to help you. You can command it, it will provide help. But whenever you are under Baal, there's no help from the earth. Then finally, the social landscape in South Africa. I think we have covered most of this. That a relative of Jabulen is the goat human called Baphomet, who's also a prince demon. They are called prince demons. Amen.
we've looked at what's written engraved in that demonic the solve to separate divorce conflict in families if there's a conflict in your family there's someone called performance in the second heavens who's a demon who's responsible solve divide separate separate marriages godly marriages and then godly marriages in their marriage i separate i separate a woman gives birth throws away the child i separate you two are sisters but i cause you to hate each other solve and kokula i take two things of the same and i bind them and yoke them together i make a man marry a man a woman marry a woman I make a girl child look at herself and say, I'm actually a man, although I look like a woman, but inside I'm a man, and vice versa. Socially, this is what this jabulen, this mystery we have seen in Parliament, this is its. Go to Leviticus um, 18, verse 21. This is what it means when you are under Baal. Baal, I told you, has many Godheads. One of those Godheads is a God in the Old Testament called who? Molech. Let's see what it is. Kulunkulu Uyala. The Israelites. Ut Senzongena in the territory of those Abakonza Upal. Help it. Senzongena in the territory of those who worship Baal. Now I don't want you to do as they do. One of the Godheads under Baal is a God named Molech. Let's see Umolek in our way to Mingan. And you shall not let any of your descendants or your children pass through the fire to Molek. Okay. Nor shall you profane the name of your God. You shall not let your children pass through the fire to Molek. Molek, why do me God head of Baal? Why do me good? You need to take a newborn child or a newborn baby and sacrifice him in the fire. So it's the spirit of abortion why is abortion legalized in South Africa because the Godhead is Jabulon and the Jabulon there is a Molech who is the God who loves young children he causes miscarriages if you've had a miscarriage through a hierarchy of demons this is the ultimate one that was responsible he likes to have young children and what they would do, Uma Bethulwempini, Lababezizo, the Canaanites, the Amalekites, the Philistines, the Hittites, Spongelamatites, the Zizo that they would encounter on the way, but on Magulugul. Uma Bethulwempini, they always had to have women pregnant on standby, ready to give birth. Uma Bethulwempini, Tatua, one of the newborns, toss it in the fire, and they would actually win. Mola could actually grant them victory through sacrificing of babies. So Molech will then tell the Freemasons, then Parliament guys, then you selected, so legalize abortion. Tell young children it's okay to be promiscuous, have sex outside of marriage, realize that you're actually not happy to be pregnant. So tell them it's okay, it's a safe space, they can go and abort. We have Molech, who's a godhead of Jabulon, Baal. Socially, this is why we have abortion. This is why we have homosexuality, kogula. This is why we have conflict in families. Solve it. Do you understand this? Yes, 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 I understand. Do you understand this? Multiple gods, Baal has many godheads. I see here one of the things God said was the thing of duplicate gods, the matter actually of duplicate gods. You can serve God and ancestors. It's Baal. It's Baal who gives you that man says, why you serve You can have multiple duplicate gods. South Africa there's a satanic temple in Cape Town, by the way. Why is it in Cape Town? Because that's the headquarters of the Freemasonry Temple. That's where our parliament is. Last year, the first satanic temple, an actual temple of Satan. Amen. Amen. 
par cause parliament is there and the freemasons are there so duplicate gods south africa shall be a nation in a in a, in a training duplicate gods it's a theology of ban amen actually in daba the message that god gave me ipelela to say this is where south africa is but then i said lord give me strategies then to try and come out you know now that we know this how do we and quickly how do you come out now of this demonic influence of chaplain three things the first one you cry out and turn the first thing you cry out and turn the second one is sacrifice to come out the third one is by the prophetic let's start with number 1 2 chronicles chapter 7 we will not start reading from verse um uh, let's try 18 i didn't put a verse here What does it say there? The first way for South Africa to come out of this, and Ukulukulu kept emphasizing to me, Uguti, this should interest every believer because it affects every believer. If it's a national problem, it means it's your problem. What about if we get someone like Adolf Hitler as a president? We are going to die. He's going to kill us. Literally. He's going to say, eh, hey, so every national problem affects you. You've seen Baphomet or Jabulon. Do you see that they, the conflicts they cause, not just in South Africa, in families. They cause problems in families. They cause divorce in families. They cause separation conflicts in families. They, called multi, they cause multiple gods within families. Tell families, this national problem has found its way to families and individuals. The first thing we do when we want to escape this is we need to cry out to God and turn from our wicked ways. Uh, uh, let's start from verse 10. Uh, 12. Then the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said to him, I have heard your prayer. Okay. And have chosen this place. In fact, go back to 11. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and seek, there's a sacrifice you need to lay down. Ukulunkulu responds, Ashon Jalogu Solomon pertaining to Israel. After Solomon, Use Shabe was Shabe sacrifice then Solomon finished the house of the Lord and the king's a house and Solomon successfully accomplished all that came into his heart to make in the house of the Lord and his own house. The first thing Solomon did, he established the house of God. The first thing Solomon did is he established the house of God. If my people who are called by my name can humble themselves, before God says, I will hear them if they cry to me, Solomon first finished establishing the house of the Lord. In other words, God will need many apostolic hubs that are godly, with godly teachings that can demonstrate his power successfully before he can even hear and turn around that, that, that deplorable state of South Africa. Solomon finished the house of the Lord. <laughs> and he successfully accomplished all that came into his heart to make in the house of the Lord. Quebec reminds me of the prophecy we make. Let you in, the, in, in the last days, the house of the Lord shall be exalted. God still needs his houses. Tabo came to my house the other day uh, and amongst the things he said is he's very passionate, he has zeal about the house of the Lord, he wants to change everything he wants to change everything 
But who are working here was? He understands who the house of the Lord must be exalted. If we spend money putting in a new banner, I go We need to exalt the house because that's a code for people to come in in terms of Mika for one. But it's also a mechanism, as you'll understand in verse 14. How? Shows you how much God is going to be able to do it. And as the Bible says, it's also Solomon. What part of Okay, so, so, so 12 is right, 12 is right. Then the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said to him, I have heard your prayer and I have chosen this place for myself as a house of, of, yeah, sacrifice, wa gangulugul. Yeah, sacrifice, wa. Yeah, I like what Pastor Isaac said. He blessed me today. That's so elemental. Into my elos of 2008, we find the house of God because it is the it is the custodian of truth, not of what is true, but of truth. Isangoma can tell you what is true and accurate, but it won't be truth. The only truth is Jesus. I am the way and the truth and the life. Kushu Jesus. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Sacrifice is cut. It's not nice sitting the whole day for three hours. But it's a sacrifice. 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 every weekend. It's a sacrifice. It's fresh. And in every altar, it's a sacrifice. When I'm full of Nigel, now look about Nigel, Unikela, Quaulwets, Leg Velen, Gang, a post is Tom, but my Thomas and Cabla and Aga will wait. So keep up one thousand to Akula, put me and get you will wait. Get you will wait. Okay, a sacrifice and as keep penny sisters about to abang as Mshabas or Albertin. I ain't gang as Pinta Gilabes, Miss Funimad. We are about to sacrifice a loop balloon. Ashley. Goba no mum pinche ganjan, e can't and gegung a lens. No mum pinche ganjan, you will sacrifice to make sure you look good. What a big man will sacrifice a gonzo and ah, Sabefuni Male. You see that you are a joker. So, what power missing Jangunu Solomon? And he said, Here is where I will place all my sacrifices to God. Asiak verse 14, the favorite scripture that every diabolical nation cites, Master Sekba Shubel. If my people, who are called by my name, are you called by God's name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. In other words, then I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. So you'll have to cry out to God. And you'll have to turn from wickedness. Cry out and turn. That's the first way to overthrow Jabulin. If the church of Christ, even if there's a hundred people, online, they are just maybe hundreds only. If Tinezwai could cry out to God, and crying out is multi-faced, it's two-faced. It's to cry to God to ask for mercy, but to also cry against what is happening. Is it Jeremiah or Ezekiel? His word, and if you've read the book of Jeremiah, it's a word you grip, you come across. It's not a nice prophecy. Economical issue like Israel. His word is like a fire in my bones. I can't keep quiet. In other words, I cry out against what is happening. It's a time for South Africans to cry out. You want to cry out against South Africa, the, the, the ANC. 
but you don't cry out against the Freemasonry Temple. Hi, the corrupt, the corrupt. See, AF15. If again, same story. Fagani DA, same story. Cry out against what matters here, not here. Here, the, the, the leadership can change, but the job will end remains. La Pezu. Time to cry out. Speak against it. It's one of the reasons why the Lord wanted me to expose this today. Speak against it. It's what it is. Now it will be documented. Facebook, praise God, In South African Parliament, there's a Freemasonry temple. In their property, there's a Freemasonry temple. By their own admission, the Constitution here, TNZ, Freemasonry, we've seen the Godheads, including Baphomet, Satanism. In South African Parliament, since we are exposed, we cry out. Unga told, Gobuk Tula Wako, Kini Nyo Kabana Niz and Ife, will rebuke the spirit of divisions, harm, the Guya Sin, Goban, Goba, there's a Baphomet who has written on his harm, Solve, Kogula. Speak out. Two, sacrifice. The second way to overthrow. Jabulan is sacrifice. Sina sa sacrifice it hito. Praise God. Asa sacrifice I mean to is it asa asa ham bisyo shaba in omone mbuz. That is demonic. Uzo shope guzuf. Ushabe this weekend tum se benza hambanga gasha ukipen. Uitate. Oba lo babo tu ya ita ila le mbuzu ya zonga sebe nzuzo ita tap manchi. Miyabo taxi ubabo wako. Itimo onel zenza ubabo wako gupu. Kwa taxi yen. Ubabo wako kose amu se paradise. Nchi mse paradise. Noma, umega tenga sindi seo kuse hadis. The truth is simple. They're not in heaven by the way. Yega nukwa mbeli zula mang. When a human spirit departs, they don't go to heaven. They go to a multi, they go to the, okay, I don't want to say underground world, but they go to a certain realm that has two compartments. Hades, Sheol, in Hebrew, which is what we term hell, or they go to paradise. You are in the Zulu on judgment day, the heaven, you show in heaven. We say it pella loosely, but it's the truth, it's in scripture. Maybe, should I teach on that? I think I should, so that you can know one day. So sacrifice. What are you sacrificing for God? Hmm. The Holy Spirit is reminding me of something, but I won't say it. He can beat me at home about it. I won't say it. Abandu are able to say, I don't have time for God. I am tired, therefore I won't serve God. And not understand Uti, the greatest reward of serving God is when you can't serve Him but you serve Him nonetheless because that is sacrifice. That's where we are born a big male up late jelly conference. We hundred rand wa koko na lo. I will tell you, Mpela ngobu ngi nga una. Oda u de dele nonetheless. That is sacrifice. If we saw keep her happy because value doesn't affect you, that's just a mere offering. It's not a sacrifice. When you still come to church so rejuvenated, it's very good. It's a it's an offering to God. He receives it. God, a deeper element of service is that that is sacrificial. A sacrifice means something must die and lay on the altar. Ubegen on the altar. If you have too much work when you don't come to church, ah, God understands that, eh, that you missed an opportunity for a big breakthrough. Nonetheless, it would have been deemed not as an offering but a sacrifice. Sometimes, those who live with me know, I always have counseling sessions at home. Sometimes it's not just sitting and talking, it's mostly deliverance, healing. Sometimes, in Eta, Gibbos, saying in the religion, Peter, and Safon Luto, Uber Conos of Fon, at the quickly prophet. So, Aga Konsnala, and Tamp, Aga Konsnala, and Shamsa Teguino, Cape Town, at quickly prophet. My niece wants to kill herself in Cape Town. Nay, phone, Gim Kulumis. I can't say no. I can't say, I'm going to say, 
Begvuka kisa sasa zbule le ndio timu kulu kulu. Gitu mlet. Kera bo kosiye ketele proto. Gitu ngi akulegal kulu mtimo ningo tayi gitu kona be long one. Napa mo ready exhausted. Do you know why I do it nonetheless? Yes, because I love the Lord. But honestly, it's because it's a sacrifice, and a sacrifice yields serious rewards. Many people, I, you, you are missing big breakthroughs because you don't want to sacrifice. You want to offer, but not to sacrifice. We think offering is good enough. Mm, it's fifty percent. You want a serious breakthrough, sacrifice. Um, nigga, lo mu shego tumshat elus better. Why do you think Abraham when you get Abraham or Isaac must have sacrificed on the altar? Lishi Bible or Isaac fought his father. Why? Because it was like, hey, if I could just allow myself to be killed here, it would be a major sacrifice. Then here, corner shoot. Yay! I'm gonna be one of the highly crowned. Don't miss an opportunity of sacrifice. If people in the body of Christ could understand sacrifice, live sacrifice, sacrificial lives. You have two slices. If you give them one slice, it's an offering. God will be happy. Meaning, to give him both slices. That's a sacrifice. See if the following day, Tobega won't come into your house. But. Do that to bond to Gulgungege in. Believers know they must offer, not sacrifice. Eloishi. Live a sacrificial life. O Catalun, Jalunga, Mimalia, O being echo, O figure nonetheless. O figure nonetheless. What's that say on your queen? I want the Elmina. You want Minifuang text a prophet care, Anna, and Maluk figure Upay. If Ngena, you're so tight, okay, see you next week. Fing Nangs, Nink. As is Naman Nai. It's okay. I'll understand. But in Gishalu, there was a door open for you. That would have yielded so much. But you didn't want to sacrifice. You only offer when. When you have the upper funds, you come. That's an offering. But a sacrifice is when you don't have. Sacrifice. This is how Jabulin will be dethroned. If believers start living sacrificially. Then lastly by the prophetic. First Kings chapter 13. By the prophetic, we are about to pray. Whoever owns a lie. Land. By the prophetic speaking against the altar of Jabulin. Now I have to warn you. Whenever you deal with princes in that realm, you can't just approach them. Amen. Because they outrank you in the spirit. We looked at you, remember, when Michael had the body of Moses, him and Lucifer were contesting over the body. He didn't rebuke Satan because Satan outranked him because he was a true being. He is only an archangel. So he said, the Lord Jesus rebuked you and used the greater name. 1 Kings chapter 13 verse 1 to 3. And behold, a man of God went from Judah to Bethel by the word of the Lord. Okay, the Lord has sent him. He went to Jeroboam. Jeroboam was the king at the time of Judah. He was a staunch worshiper of Baal. The laws he made were influenced by Baal. The economies or the economics of Israel at the time was influenced by Baal. Society in general was influenced by Baal. And Jeroboam was the king and he loved it. God says enough now. He calls the man of God to go to Jerobim. He found Jerobim standing by the altar, burning an incense in the altar of Balkbeg. Then he cried out, he being the man of God, he cried out against the altar by the word of the Lord and said, Oh altar, altar, that says the Lord, behold, a child Josiah by name shall be born to the house of David and on you he shall sacrifice the priest of the high places who burn incense on you. And he gave a sign the same day saying, this is the sign which the Lord has spoken. Surely the altar shall split apart. If you continue reading in the chapter, the altar starts splitting apart. The altar starts shaking. The altar of Baal starts being dismantled. Because a man arose sent by God. 
through the prophetic action and started speaking against them. Not just telling people the information, but literally saying, All out of Jebulon, get camel gaches, get camel gaches. You now need to break. Individually, we may not outrank Jebulon, but corporately as a body, we definitely outrank him. Why? Because we are the body of Christ, and Christ is seated far above all principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, and spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. So corporately, I'd like us to stand up. We are going to cry out corporately, not individually. If you've been affected in any way by the symptoms of Jabulan, including Molek, the abortion, eh, 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 bafflement, the division, conflicts, homosexuality, eh, multiple gods, clinic, such and such, if you've been affected in any way, Kajal, it's time to cry and say, Lord, have mercy. Dethrone Baal over South Africa. Dethrone Baal. Ask the Lord to do You can do it. You don't have spiritual clearance to do it. But corporately, we will ask God, God, please help us now dethrone this man. And if we do it corporately, it's the body of Jesus Christ. The altar shall start breaking. Lord have mercy on South Africa. We are praying. Cry out. You guys are not crying out. Lord, have mercy on our country. Have mercy on our nation, Lord. Have mercy on our nation, Lord. Gidale to take it. Gidale. We cry out for mercy, Lord. The reason why your salary cannot meet your needs is because there is a bar controlling the economy. If you are affected, just cry out. Just cry out, cry out. Where's Isaac? I need this instrumental to be very loud. Cry out for the sake of your family. For the sake of the nation. It will now work out. The conflict 
There's a lot of work being done in the spirit. Today I won't call people out here. The Lord will touch them. If the Lord touches them, bring them. The first type of people, those with the spirit of Josiah. Josiah is the young king that God raised to over 10 Baal's altars. The spirit of Josiah at a national level. In other words, the prophetic voice God raises and gives them jurisdiction over an entire nation. Lord, I keep seeing the name Josiah. Who is a Josiah? Who is an Elijah? Who is a prophet? Help it. Help them. Help it. Help it. Help it. Help it. Help it. Help them. Shoda. Shoda Kaki. Can you help with the live stream? Shake it, did that. 